Recursion 1, no x. Given a string, compute recursively a new string where all the x characters have been removed. So let's go over the sample cases first. So the first case is x, a, x, b. If you remove all the x's, which are here, then we will get a, b. Here, um, there are no x's, so there's no x's to remove, so we will just return that string. And here, there are two x's. If we replace all of those x's, then we will get nothing. Um, sorry, if we delete all of those x's, we get nothing because the whole string is made of x's. Okay, so there are actually many ways to do this. One way being this um, Java's dot replace all method. But <clears throat> because it says compute recursively, let's try to think of a recursive way. Um, so one way we can do this is similar to the other string recursion problems. Um, by checking the first character, applying whatever the problem says to that first character or the first few characters, and then continuing on with the rest of the string. So what do I mean that by that? Well, here, for example, um, let's go over x, 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 a, x, b. So the first character is x, <clears throat> and we know that we are supposed to delete x, so we can just um, not include x in the final statement, thus deleting it, and then continuing on. So here's an empty string signifying that we are skipping x, and then we continue on with the rest, um, which is a, a x, b. So a, x, b. We get the first character, and that is a. We do not need to delete a because it is not x, so we just keep it. And then we continue on with the rest of the string. x b. The first character is x. We know we have to delete x, so we will remove it, signify it again by just an empty string, and then continue on with the remaining string. The last character is b, so we can just, um, we know that b does not equal x, so we just keep b, and then, and then um, we will continue on with the rest of the string, which is empty. When it is empty, which means that the length is zero, then we know we can just um, return nothing. So let's implement that. So when um, the string is empty, or when the string is length less than zero, Oh, sorry, equal to zero, and then we, re we can return an empty string. If else, there is a first character we can check, so we will first take the first character, and then we will make str equal whatever is left, which is a substring that starts at one and goes on to the rest of the string. If the first character is equal to x, then we will return nothing, because we are deleting x plus um, whatever and and uh, um, plus the string that is um, result that results after applying that recursive um, function to the rest of the string. Um, here, we know that we don't need to replace anything with um, we don't need to delete anything because that character does not equal x. So we can just return the first character, apply the recursion, and there it is. And there, it works.